let's jump into it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am going to explain some stuff today. I'm going to read some stuff. I've been planning this for a while. Essentially, what I'm doing is creating a better educational experience for you. I've had several groups, several courses, and there always seems to be this huge disconnect on how people learn, um, how people take information in. Let me give you an example. Let's see. Let's just get into what's going on with some stuff. And just, just uh, this is a good example because ever since I've switched things around, I have getting more information. And I want to read to you what's happening. I think this is common, I would say. All right. Let's see. Let me get down to it. Let me get down to it. Hi, I saw your video on YouTube and I find that you're very real. I'm going in circles with other products and teaching things, but I've not found a real mentor yet. I've signed up with blank as well as stand up all nights going through courses, but still struggling. I can tell you more about it if you want later. All I want to know right now is please don't mind this being so blunt, but I'm done with the bullshit. So please tell me if you're real or not bullshit. And I'm trying to get and just trying to get money out of people. So please tell me so I can move forward. There are many people who feel this way and is creating a lot of distrust uncertainty and i'm going to be blunt myself and just grab that bull by the horns what essentially he's looking for is a guarantee and guarantees can be made but let me tell you what's on my side of the fence i've talked to a lot of people i've had folks who just have been really really successful with the courses and i've had people who've sucked ass with the courses i have one course this guy became a rock star. He's never had a business before. He just studied, he took to it. Then I had someone else who had business experience and failed miserably. And it was just like, okay. And all I'm getting is emails. I don't know these people, never seen them. Then as a educational tool for myself, I called up the guy that was successful and I called up the person who was not successful. Cause all I had was names, email addresses, and communications. I didn't know who I was talking to. So I call up the guy who was successful. He's 26 years old. Um, living, at, He was living at home. He said he was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. He said, I had to make this work. And I said, well, how many hours did you put in? He said, 50, 60 a week. And I was like, oh, okay. Then he said, I made mistakes, but I just kept pushing. If I didn't understand some, I shot you an email. And we just went on. And he he pushed himself to make it happen. Then I called a person who wasn't doing so well. And this elderly voice answered the phone. And I was like, and I was like I'm being rude. How old are you? I'm 62. And then I just spent like three hours on the phone with this person. It's just like, what the hell? And it was just the other person didn't have basic knowledge of how the internet works. So their learning curve was vertical. It was, it's a 90 degree grade. That's how, so they had to learn everything as well as the course information. I was like, ah, oh. that's one of the reasons that I started talking to people because just like you don't know me, you know, you can come to the channel and you can see I've been around for six years. You can see great comments. You can see people. It's like, hey, I've been a long time viewer. So there's some social proof. And for some people, that's enough. Others, they need more. And what I learned, and it's one of the reasons that I put this program together, is how to walk people through it. Because there are many people who have automated um, reoccurring revenue models where they have a class, they have something up. And some of them are great. Some of them are awesome. Some of them are not so great. Some of them are far from awesome. But if you take a person that doesn't have certain skills already, that a lot of these courses are just too hard. 
And going back to the, you know, I'm not going to put the guy's name out there, but the course that I saw when I went to the website was like $14.99 a month. Let's talk about that. $14.99 a month. $140, $160-some dollars a year. You're only going to get a certain kind of information for that price point. I got a question for you. Would you risk your life on $14.95 tires on your car? Each tire was $14.95. Would you risk your life with those kind of tires? Of course you wouldn't. So why are you risking your financial future? Your There's a reason that it's kind of confusing. That's Because re- you, at that price point, someone just can't get on the phone, do these hangouts, talk to people. It's just not for that level of income. You just can't do it. It's not possible. Uh, you know, it's just not. So that was a big, big part of it. And with teaching and putting together stuff, and that's why this program's a little different. Every week, we're going to have a group hangout where you can participate. Now, let's talk about time zones. I'm going to do it roughly because I'm going to go back to when I did 25, uh, yeah, 30 days of 2,500. I'm going to do it that way because that's the biggest participation I've had. So we'll have weekly hangouts where you can log on. It'll be a private hangout. You'll get an invitation. You can watch. You can come at you. And I can have up to 10 people in the hangout. So if you're in the class and you want to jump in the hangout, share your experiences, we're going to do that. And then that hangout will be recorded and it'll go on to the in the learning resource area. So we're going to talk quite a bit and there's going to be hands on. So if you have a problem, you know, once a week you can come in and ask your question, talk to the people in the course and work it out like that. So online B-School, what is it about? And this is one of the reasons, you know, I just stalled the Hustle Mindset Project because I was under the impression and many of you led me to that impression that people wanted to learn how to fish. Bullshit. There's few fishermen out there. There's very few fishermen out there. People want to learn. People want to see me catch the fish, bring the fish, dress the fish, barb, you know, put it on the barbie, uh, bake it, do whatever and serve it. And they want to see that over and over again. And then once they become comfortable with fishing, then they may become a fisherman. So this course will be based on action, just like 30 Days 2500, which still is the most successful course I've ever done because it had a heavy, heavy action quotient. You you had to be active. You had to do stuff. There was no, we're just going to sit here. We're going to get this information and we're going to get this. No, no, no. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to put forth effort. So to answer a few questions the best I can that I think will be coming, Online B-School, what's the objective? To build a sustainable online business model in six months to 12 months. It's doable. It's hard. You're not going to blow bullshit. You know, some of you are going to fail. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now. Some of you are going to fail. It's not going to work out because you're going to get become uh, disenfranchised, disheartened, and you're going to quit. I already know this, but I'm warning you. But that's the objective, to build a sustainable online business model in six months to 12 months. Yeah, six to 12 months. That's the objective. Now, what is sustainable? Okay. My number was 50,000. To me, it's not getting rich, but in most places in the country, you can make it on 50. So we're going to go ahead and say the goal is to get you up to $50,000 in gross income from your online business in six months to 12 months. That's the plan. Now, how are we going to do this? 75% of the training is going to be in two areas, selling and marketing training. And 25% would be in product development. Now, you'll hear people who will develop an idea, <clears throat> put it out there, work on it, and then they'll take it to the market and the market's saying, we don't want it. Ooh. That stinks. Oh, take that out. Oh, no, we don't like it. And then they, they, they're they looking at it from the wrong way, that they put all of this time and effort 
and hopes and wishes and dreams and a little sugar and special and kisses and all this stuff on it. And nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. And then they're disheartened and disfranchised. So to avoid that, we're going to learn selling and marketing first because audience development, finding the right places to sell, finding the right people, that is more important than the product itself. This is why you can go into any quick mart or gas station and see similar stuff all over the place because those people have figured out that the people who come in here at 1230 who buy the 40 ounce will buy lighters. And if it's the winter, they're going to buy gloves because they're drunk and they forgot their gloves. And if we make them cheap enough, even if they have a pair of gloves at home, they're going to buy another pair because it's convenient. They figure that out. And that comes from selling and marketing training. Selling and marketing training comes first. Product development comes last. And that's where many people go wrong. Now, with that, there's an exception. You might know that the marketplace is rich already because you remember that marketplace or you have es esoteric knowledge. So you can just kind of like run with it. But even with that nailed down, you still have to develop your selling and marketing bones. You got to that. That's where it all starts. OK, there, you know, let's let's just get realer than real. There are people here on YouTube who have gone around and said all kinds of stuff and Glendon Cameron's a fake and this, 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 this. Now, if I'm a fake and that's your opinion, why is it I can do this year after year and get better? Last month was my best year, best month on YouTube ever. Now, what's remarkable about that is the summer is usually slow for me. Uh, typically, starting May, I send my views trending because it's warm outside. There are people doing stuff, so they're not watching videos. Also, you notice something. I don't put videos up in the morning. I put them up late at night. The video I put last night, it was like maybe 1230 because the way they're grooming this channel based upon selling and marketing training is because I have long ass videos that people watch them later so they can sit down and watch the whole video. So they don't watch them when they come out like they used to. They'll watch them through the week. They'll watch them when they get the email. They'll come to the channel and something else. I am doing Monday business talk, Tuesday hustler stories and Wednesday hustler mindset philosophy. Now, once I started the stories again, many people who have not watched my video and they'll just put, oh, man, it's been a year or two or three years. And the stories brought them back. And the stories go up late at night because people are finding this stuff when they're ready. So that's something that comes. And I'm just telling you this because this goes contrary to a lot of stuff that people tell you in YouTube training that, you know, your subscribers get that first boost. I see people with 80,000 subscribers. I see people with 100,000 subscribers and they put a video out and they have less views than I do. Because people are not engaged with the content. And this is something we'll talk about in Project YouTube, which is included in online B-School. YouTube is going through more iterations, more changes in the last four years than it did in the previous five. I think it's nine or 10 years old. Many things don't matter. Like you, you'll you see people, you go to certain channels and you're watching the channel and you'll see the captioning where the words are popping up and they upload the transcript of the video. A lot of the bigger guys who were too, they don't do it anymore because I'm going to tell you something. I got a video that I put up four months ago and I did my research and I didn't do any of the, opt I didn't do no optimization, no tagging, nothing. I did two things correct and those two things matter. And there's other YouTubers I see are doing the same thing and they're getting the same results. So what I'm saying is, as you build your online business, you're going to have to do your research. You're going to have to do your due diligence. You're going to have to dig in your business, because if you keep looking, because I'm telling you, I stopped doing tax and stuff in 2012 because I just did. It just didn't really work. It, it, I shouldn't say that it worked marginally. Because if you're title your headline is not strong enough all the tags in the world ain't gonna do shit i'm just telling you that right now it's just not so once again because i'm into the selling and marketing and spend most of my time with that 
That's why I can make these changes. That's why I can introduce a product and get sales because I work on selling and marketing all of the time. And those are the things I'm going to teach you. And I'm sweating like a dog because I have to turn the air off or you would hear the air and it'd be like. Frrr. So where is it going to be? It's going to be Gumroad and private hangouts. That's where we're going to do this. When two to three days a week, there will probably be one. There might be two hangouts because I'm going to play around with the times because I don't know where people are. I may do one morning session. I may do one evening session. That's going to be malleable, but there's going to be training two to three days a week and at a minimum one hangout minimum two to three days a week. There'll be training. And like I said, that's what's going down. So when does it start? It's already started. Going back to selling and marketing training. Many people do in my space of information selling the launch model. And there's been a great deal of, of information and debates about the launch model versus the evergreen model. I adapted the evergreen model, and this is why. When I wrote my first book, I didn't make the majority of the money the first two years. It actually came in year three and four because I worked on the evergreen model. I had all kinds of content marketing all over the place that helped continue to make sales. We're going to talk about that. And I'm going to teach you how to do the evergreen model, how to build something that is long term durable. If you want to do launch or create buzz and follow the funnel method and do that, there's plenty of training out there for that. There's plenty of people that's doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to train you how to do that. And this is why you do the evergreen model and you build durable content and you build durable services and durable products. You can have a product that the first year it makes you say 10 grand, right? But year four, it makes you 50 grand. The converse happens with the launch model. Launch model comes out, create all this excitement, all of this buzz. Then after it dies down, they got to create another plot product. They have to do another joint venture because the income stops. Whereas the evergreen model, which is like base hits, which is a, a philosophy that I really, really espoused on my storage auction days, I didn't go for the home runs, you know, the big shiny units, the beautiful units. Out of 1,500 units, there was only 33 that were super remarkable. You know, you just couldn't make a living on super remarkable, and that's what, you know, many people fell prey to. But I focused on base hits. If I bought a unit for 100 bucks, if I can make three to 400 bucks profit, it was a win. It wasn't exciting, but it was profitable. Those are the same principles that I'm going to teach you in the online business school, because I want you to build a business that's not a fad. It may start a little slow in the beginning. It may take you more than six to 12 months to get it going. But say after 12 months, you're in the class and you're doing the stuff and you've got an online business that makes you an extra 15,000. That is a heck of a starting place for building a long term business, because I want you to look at year five and year 10 and year 15 with your business versus I got to have it now. I got to have it now when you don't have experience and stuff is really a fallacy. It's not in your best interest. It's not going to happen for most people there. We cannot toot the exceptions as a rule. This just doesn't make sense. So what are we, what is going to be the course curriculum? Because this is another thing. There will be subtopics, but we're going to break it up because project YouTube has several modules. Project YouTube, that's what we're starting with. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Then we're going to go to platform marketing, which is what YouTube is, how to sell online, then product development. Now, with Project YouTube, the reason I'm telling you this, even if you don't create a YouTube channel, the marketing lessons, the selling lessons will matriculate to podcasting or Facebook group development. Same principles, because Going forward, it's going to be very hard to stand out and advertise because people become desensitized to advertising. So you're going to have to look deeper and longer than just get in, make it happen and do these things. All right. So once again, starts now because Project YouTube is underway. And once you sign up, uh, you'll get a link, you'll get onboarded there and you can start working on that because there's a lot of science. A lot of things that I do 
<laughs> there's a lot of things that I tell you in this course how I keep my channel running and I don't do things like uh, other youtubers because this channel's designed to sell stuff it's not designed if it entertains you great if you learn something great but the first purpose of this channel is to sell you something so let's talk about the levels and I thought long and hard about this entry level ambassador one time payment of thousand dollars you're good to go or 12 payments of a hundred mentor thirty five hundred dollars or 12 payments of four hundred dollars now what's the difference between ambassador and mentor mentor is gonna talk to me four times a month mentor is for someone who wants hand-holding who wants more assurance who wants to talk to someone run ideas more email support that's what's gonna happen so mentor is thirty five hundred bucks or 12 payments of four hundred dollars and you get four sessions a month for three months and then we go on or if you want to because that's what's the 12 sessions I've had some people who just stretch them out and it's like hey you know I'll use them when I need them and you're gonna get plenty of stuff in the course then we have partner I have many people who say hey Glendon I got this idea I got this idea let's work together let's partner I am not taking any equity deals at the moment because I don't like a lot of stuff that's coming across my table so for partners or say a company partner level is 10,000 one-time payment or 12 payments of eleven hundred dollars now and for that if you want to meet you know you will be invoiced for travel this is for a business that wants to improve you know take their business online or drastically improve their online presence I've taken three businesses this year and we've they just were like blown away because let me tell you what happens on this side of the fence I meet really intelligent people who don't know what SEO SEO is I meet people who don't know how to use Twitter I know you're going like no 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 and I meet people who are definitely afraid of YouTube great voice great personality they're scared to do it and I worked with a few people one lady we developed this YouTube channel for it's not like blazing views but she's uh, a leader in her business and that's something else I don't tell my other clients business to you or anyone else if they're in the hangout and they want to talk about it that's on them because what happens online is everything's transparent if you work hard enough you can go to someone's business model reverse in reverse engine stalk them go to their website see what they do check out their email frequency check out their content if you put in the work you can be like a forensic SEO social media scientist and figure out what they're doing so if someone's got something that's really working the motivation is much higher for that type of action to go on thus making things more competitive for that person hence I'm not gonna put your business out there if you want to put your business out there if you want to talk about it that's cool and then there's some people say hey Glenda you know I want to talk to your former customers now in the beginning I used to do that I used to fall for that trick and this is what happened a few times well I do similar services as Glendon and I can do a better job and I'll offer you like a month free this is what happened twice and it's like whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute you just you didn't want a reference you want to find a targeted person that was willing to pay for services I was like blown away because that happened to me in the physical world and I was like wait a minute so once again you will have to take a chance on me I'll just put it out there because this is to keep it real channel this is will be blunt but those are the three levels ambassador you just get the basic stuff which is awesome mentor you need more talking more sessions more help you'll get that with mentor and if you're a business or are you someone that's got money let's just be real and you want to develop a business and you have no idea where to start then partner is the deal for you now the only way that you can get and you know mentor or partner you got to email Amy email Amy at hustlersfood.com and she'll invoice you that way we can put you on the schedule or board you properly ask you the right questions and it's something you should think about it's something you should deal with but 
If you want to get rocking and rolling today with Online B-School, bam, we can make it happen right now. So if you've got any questions about the course, this is what you do. Below the video, ask your questions. And ask questions that are not covered in the video, because if you ask a question that is covered in the video, now, if you, if you say, I know you covered it in the video, but it's not really clear to me, I, I will work with you on that. But if you ask a question that is easily covered in the video, which says you didn't watch the video and you're just asking questions because you're lazy, I uh, will ignore you or just delete it. Because time is the most valuable commodity that we have. So that's how online B-School works. That's what's going on. And it's going to be a long-term deal because going back over these modules, Project YouTube, I'm working the whole month of July on this Project YouTube alone. That's, that's what we're working on. That's it. <laughs> and Project YouTube itself, if you just want that, is 300 bucks. Uh, and once it's done, it's going to go up. So then we're going to get the platform marketing. And the two are kind of overlapping, but there's some distinct things that I'm not putting in Project YouTube that will be in platform marketing. Because this, there's the philosophy, the, the, the theory, all that stuff. we got to go through that. And then how to sell online. That's going to be a fun course. That is where you make your money. That's where, because I'm going to tell you something. If you go to, you know, after the objective of how to build a sustainable online business model in six to 12 months, if you go to the how selling and marketing training, let's just stop there. If you become really good at that, really good at selling and marketing alone, if you just develop those two skills, and you become really good, not excellent, not set savant level, not genius level, but really, really good. This is what can happen to you. You can find, if you want to, a serious paying job. Because once you develop these skills, you can go to a company and they don't even have to be hiring. And it's like, look, I am a selling and marketing. So I, I, I kill it. And you go to the business owner and this is the deal you make. It's like, look, I know you don't have a job for this but I know you run a business and you want to make each month. You want to make money. You need sales today. You need sales yesterday. You'll need sales tomorrow. This is what I'll do for you. I will sell your product, but I want 50% of the profit or you can hire me and you put out whatever salary you want. And they're just going to like, because <laughs> in their mind, it's like, if you don't sell anything, they don't have to pay you anything. Right? They're gonna go for it if you present yourself right. You know, you, you come in with the right shirt on, dress conservative, you do your pitch. Chances are you got a 50 to 80 percent success rate with that. Then you go ahead and you start making sales. And then when they realize that it was cheaper to hire you, they're gonna want to switch it up. And this is why, when you do it, you have a written agreement and you put a clause that if you want to hire me, you put your salary plus a 25%, 30% opt out of the percentage relationship. And then some companies will just want to keep you on a percentage basis because they don't have to get you health insurance. They don't want, you know, so either way you're making money. And if you learn selling and marketing, if you, every company needs that. Every company needs more sales, more marketing, more customers, more money. This is the reason that I could leave the storage auction business Come on here on YouTube and know nothing about YouTube. My first videos got the black bars because I didn't know the difference between 720 and standard definition, square and standard definition. I didn't know. I just pulled out my Sony CyberShot and just started making videos. And it worked because I had a sales plan. I had a content marketing plan. I had a plan of action. Notice that I keep saying the word plan. There are many people who start YouTube channels and they go for the, just started we'll just see where it goes and oh so and so she just started i have i study youtube channels every day i can tell you exactly when the success point uh there was a girl i found the other day and i was just like looking at her and it's just like she has remarkable presence to be so young because she's maybe 18. so me i go ahead and do my investigation and come to find out that she was groomed for it Went back to some earlier videos, saw some family videos, saw how the parents were interacting. And also, they're wealthy. Parents are not, no, they're not, not middle income. No, they're wealthy. 
So she grew up rich, she grew up with resources, and to her credit, she has a very good work ethic, and she's killing it. And she started in 2006 doing cheerleading uh, tapes and how to do backflips and how to do walkovers. And she had that authoritative leader vibe back then. And now it's just like, and then I'm gonna tell you something, she set the stuff that she learned on YouTube when it's like she goes for a job if she wants to, it's like, well, this is what I did and this is what I created. Uh, her channel probably makes her maybe 12, 15 grand a month. So that's why I said, if she goes for a job, <laughs> if she goes for a job. So this is another thing. YouTube will uh, give you all kind of opportunities that you can't see coming. So once again, if you got any questions, ask them below and make sure that you watch the video and I will answer your questions. And if you want to sign up, there is just, you know, this little I and I'm going to put annotations. And if you want mentor, if you want partner, email Amy at Hustlers Food and we'll set it up for you. So with that, I will see you in the next session.